uh, we discuss few uh, fundamental stuff of Python. Right. This is a programming language. And in this lesson, we are learning Lamai. As a first step, we are learning how to start creating a program. What is a computer program? It is solving a problem. Computer program always solving a problem. Then, before we jump into real programming language coding, once you got a problem, we have to follow a few steps. Okay, first you need to identify and analyze. Analyze the problem. Right. Then you have to design the problem. Design the solution. Okay. These two parts still we haven't touched. Okay. We didn't do flowchart yet. We didn't do uh, pseudocodes yet. Got it. These two steps are very easy to understand once you go through the fundamentals of uh, a programming language. That is why I directly started uh, with Python programming language without going to these two. Okay, pseudocodes and flowcharts. Once we uh, develop some programming concept, then we'll jump back to this one and we'll finish this one. Okay, these are uh, kind of a proven technique. Okay, this one is working. The syllabus is going through in this way. First learn this one, then designing, then jump into the Python. I tried most of the students. Mm, uh, doesn't work in that way. You know, right, if you know uh, the student who wrote the advanced level exams, more than 75% of the students struggles with the lesson programming. They don't know how to find the answers for the programming lesson. The reason is that, right. Now, last week, we discussed about variables. Right. I will quickly revise the stuff we already learned. We learned about a variable. What is a variable? Variable is a, like a container, right? There's a name for it. And we can put something inside, for example, uh, 16, AG 16. Okay, then how are you going to name this variable? There are some rules. These are the stuff you need to learn. Now. There are some few things you need to remember when you're learning a programming language. What are they? The rules you need to follow. What are the rules? When you're creating a variable, there are a few rules. It's common for every programming language. Every programming language got a set of rules. Mm. What is a variable? It's something like a container, right? That means we can hold a value. Actually, it's inside the computer, like uh, the program is running inside the random access memory RAM. We are making small memory spaces and we name it using a name. Right? You have to give a name. Then we can uh, assign a value to that memory location and we can tell the program to remember this. Right? This is kind of a remembering technique we are asking the program to remember this value. And whenever I call you, your name, you have to give me this value. What the concept? Hmm? Why we are creating variables? Whenever we need it, we should be able to get it. How our brain work? Brain is automatically doing that. Once I tell you, uh, a number like 50, okay, you can remember it. 
you don't need to uh, create a variable in brain but you can remember it for a, some time after a few mm, days it will forget it's okay right computer also say random access memory once you shut down the computer everything is gone nothing can remember right that is a variable okay then what are the rules when you're creating variables can we start with a number like 5h no uh can you leave a space when you're creating variable like first name this is a valid variable no why you can't leave a space when you're creating variable uh next one can you use a special character like at sign no no special character only one special character which is underscore you can use only underscore for example first name you can create that variable like first name which is okay Un underscore is allowed to use anyway but you can't use special, special characters like at sign dollar sign dot comma hash mark nothing got it but there's a another rule if you want to use a number you can't use it at the beginning but you can use it in the middle or at the end that means age you can use this number here it's okay or in the middle it is okay got it right there's another one we can't use reserved words reserved words can't be used <laughs> what are the reserved words the people who create this programming language the scientist or programmer so any uh, one who create this python program they reserved some words for the programming language for example if you if you want to print something on the screen they are saying use the word print then this is a reserved word because they are telling you have to use this word if you want to print something on the screen they taken this word you can't take it to create variable okay the exact same word then uh, if you want to create a selection structure use if else structure use if and else word right there are uh, different different structures you can learn later these are keywords if you want to repeat something use the word while keyword okay then the the words used by the programming language we call them reserved words we can't take those words and use in our variable right those are the basic rules when you're creating variables Kasun Samira shaping your future with the best ICT experience.